are talking about trolls. Of course, this week, OG Kidogo Tena. Have you seen that? <laughs> Why are we laughing? You know, it starts with us. <laughs> it starts with us. Honestly, I'm laughing. I am so, so proud of him. It's so inspiring to see an artist in Kenya get, get to such miles, to such levels. Um, building such a house, it's not cheap and it's not easy and it takes time and it takes a lot of work and, and a lot of effort. So I'm so, so proud that he's setting the bar high for the rest of us to see that it's possible to live in such a house. It might be big and you, you're commenting in your small house and then work hard and get to his level. Stop trolling. Yeah. Probably in future because uh, we've seen artists who say um, okay, I know I'm not doing the right thing trying to compare Kenyan artists and uh, maybe American I mean, artists, yeah, it's but it's for a good cause yeah. in a positive way. Yeah. We've seen a lot of artists maybe uh, tr uh, say they would want to build houses like some of the big artists in America and other uh, continents maybe. Is it something that you would also consider? Of course, mm -hmm. but again, I'd say just let's invest at home. Also, I'd really urge the government to make it easier for us to invest back home. We really do not want to be able to be those people who are opening accounts abroad to store our money. So, gee, oh, we have to uh, withdraw money from our bank accounts. I've seen that thing happen on TikTok, and I'm like, what is happening in our country? So. I'd really encourage the government to make it easier for us, to make policies that are favorable to us to invest in our own country. It's not fair for us to go abroad and enrich other countries or try to leave this country and be like, you know, we, I just don't like Kenya anymore. No, let's not do that. Let's build our own country so that we can get to levels where we're building houses like Calligraph. What's up, good people? Welcome to SPM Buzz. My name is Shiko Gita. We are coming to you from Prestige Plaza for the true Ascenda premiere. With me right now, as you can see, is the beautiful Shiko Moshiri. Hi! How are you doing? I'm good. My name is Seku Kaje. Kofiti. <laughs> You're looking good, first of all. Thank you. Thank and you. And congratulations on this new movie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mani, msema Nairobi ni kujituma au ujitume ama urudi nyumbani? Ni kujituma ama ulalenja. Lazimo, lazimo ujitume. Lazimo ungangani. Lazimo you do. You put yourself out there, of course. Yeah. So we are here for the two Asanda. Uh, movie premiere. How was it for you? Um, the whole process is very intense. The character that I played, Amari, is very like a mekipitia in just two days. Actually, the whole movie happens within two days. So, whatever happens between those two days, she's really, yeah, she really went through it. So, I mean, it was an experience shooting it. I really had to dig deep into myself, um, into what I've gone through, all my traumas, because the movie was so emotional for me. So I was crying and crying and crying almost three quarters of the movie. So it was a lot. It was a lot, but we got here. Yeah. Maybe I didn't get this right. Talking about the trauma, is it maybe the, your character in the movie or Shiko Moshiri? Now? Both. I mean, <laughs> you? both. Because I mean, we all have our. I don't want to say traumas, because yeah, I mean, it is true but we all have our own stuff that we have to tap into. Uh -huh. So it was through that and also understanding her storyline, Amari's storyline. Story because Pia Yeye, imagine, it, ah, I don't spoil for people, but you watch it. But whatever she's going through, I had to, it, it really got me to that place. Yeah, yeah. Maybe let me ask you, because we saw the other day Jackie talk about uh, her childhood traumas. Do you have any that you have tried to overcome? Maybe at your, I don't want to say big age, because you're not old. <laughs> But yeah, big age for lack of a better one. Um, I think, I think to some extent. Hey, I don't, I don't want to put a lot out here because again, this is the internet. But I, I, okay, I used to grow up feeling very, I don't say insecure, but it had to be. I had to prove myself a lot. So having to prove myself always gets me to that point because it's now do, do or die to some extent. It has to be like, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. You don't have an, an option. So I think that's one of the major things that I have to tap into, especially when I'm putting in work into my craft. It's, it's do or die. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this, because we have a lot of people who have childhood traumas and are still maybe t uh, struggling to uh, get over them. How uh, did you take yourself um, through this process of uh, rediscovering yourself? Mm -hmm. Of course I've done therapy and I'm not ashamed to say therapy. First of all, you need to get rid of that stigma for therapy. So I've done a few therapy sessions. Um, yeah. I've also, I'm very close to God. I have a 
very deep relationship with God, so I pray a lot. I'm very spiritual. Um, so I think those have been my two major um, strengths, spirituality and of course therapy. Yeah. I hope you're better right of now. Of course, of course. I'm so happy right now. I'm in a stable place. Oh, this sounds so wrong. This sounds like I've been going through it. But I've been, I'm now in a stable place. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy now. Mm. Beautiful. Let's go back to the movie. Now, um, what would you highlight was like your best moment during the whole shoot? Um, so the road scenes at Tigoni. I don't want to spell the whole story, but the road scenes at Tigoni. Um, hey. Hey, hey, we had to, I think we had to reshoot some of the scenes, but it was such an amazing time. Also the wedding, for those who know, you know, the wedding, I had a few people on set who are my friends, Kina and Stella were there, Naomi, McKenna, all of them were there. Also Bruce made it really, really comfortable. So I think those two moments on set were my best. Yeah. Today we are having the VIP premiere. I don't know after this, um, maybe someone who did, didn't make it for the VIP and the VIP, where can they watch the movie? Um, so we'll be on cinemas, Prestige most likely, from next week. The dates will be released on our social media platforms. Um, and also we'll be on Philips TV. So I think it's 250 bob to watch the whole, sh the whole film. So go on the website and yeah, watch. Mm. Let's talk about the industry a little bit. A lot has been happening. Right now as we talk, um, women across this country are crying because the stories of femicide are too, too, way too much. Earlier this year, we had uh, the match against femicide and I know you have a very big fo uh, following of females. Maybe what would you tell them and maybe to authorities, what do you think will be uh, the best measure to cap this, this thing? Um, I think right now the whole femicide situation has been a pandemic and is continue to be a pandemic and it shouldn't be like that again i wouldn't have much to tell my female friend my female following but i talk to my brothers they need to take care of us they need to take care of us it starts with them we c there's only so much you can do even if you go for training even if you go to do for martial arts even if we dress appropriately that shows is also being killed the young baby is being raped like how how crazy is that you understand so i wouldn't even say much to my female people just to my brothers please please take care of us please because it's, it's up to you. Otherwise, who's, who else is doing this femicide thing? It's men. And I'm not trying to shame men. I'm just saying, guys, we need to do better. We need to protect our sisters, our mothers, our cousins. So yeah, yeah, just let's, let's it's, it starts with us. Yeah. It all begins at home, yeah? Yes, exactly. Now you have been in the industry. You've mentioned about um, uh, maybe uh, being in situations uh, that probably won't be pleasing to everyone. Yeah including trolls, let me ask you, I am very sure at one point or another you have ever gone through that. Yes. <laughs> have you ever found yourself, you're like, uh, mentally disturbed because of uh, the comments, the negativity online? Um, before it used to affect me, but now I feel like people are just bullies. Because at the end of the day, I put out content not for others, but for myself. And if I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Whatever anyone else says, it doesn't matter. Also, why troll? To be very honest, if you have a bad opinion, either say it in a good way. If it's constructive criticism, say it in a good way. If it's not, just don't say it. You don't have, like you can save it. Imagine you can make a hundred bob by just taking that ten minutes of you putting that negative comment and going to work. Like, why put that negativity negativity into the world? We really do not need it. So I try to ignore as much as possible. If I see someone has been a chronic hater, I will respond. But it won't be kind. Also, I'm come on. <laughs> we cannot all be just blocking. <laughs> yeah, like me block. Ah, I am not. I do not hesitate to, to use that block button. I block. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now talking about trolls. Of course, this week, Ojiki Dogo Tena. I've seen that. <laughs> Why are we laughing? You know, it starts with us. Oh, <laughs> it like, starts with us. I'm, Honestly, me, I'm, I'm laughing. Oh. I am so so proud of him. It's so inspiring to see an artist in Kenya get get to such miles, to such levels. Um, building such a house, it's not cheap and it's not easy, and it takes time and it takes a lot of work and and a lot of effort. So I'm so so proud that he's setting the bar high for the rest of us to see that it's possible to live in such a house. It might be big, and you you're commenting in your small house, and then work hard and get to his level. Stop trolling. Yeah, she could probably in future because. Uh, We've seen artists who say, um, okay, I know I'm not doing the right thing trying to compare Kenyan artists and uh, maybe American I mean, artists, yeah, but it's for a good cause.
course, yeah. in a positive way. Yeah. We have seen a lot of artists maybe uh, tr uh, say they would want to build houses like some of the big artists in America and other uh, continents maybe. Is it something that you would also consider? Of course, but again, I'd say just let's invest at home. Also, I'd really urge the government to make it easier for us to invest back home. We really do not want to be able to be those people who are opening accounts abroad to store our money. So, G oh, we have to uh, withdraw money from our bank accounts. I've seen that thing happen on TikTok, and I'm like, what is happening in our country? So. I'd really encourage the government to make it easier for us, to make policies that are favorable to us to invest in our own country. It's not fair for us to go abroad and enrich other countries or try to leave this country and be like, you know, we, I just don't like Kenya anymore. No, let's not do that. Let's build our own country so that we can get to levels where we're building houses like Calligraph. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. To Kianza Kongia about government, of course, to Neza and Delia and Delia and Delia. But the main thing right here today is to Asanda. Thank you so much, Shiko. Thank you. You're doing an amazing job and continue inspiring girls thank out. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for following me. I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right.